Hey guys, this is Hot Noob here, and I didn't want to use my computer to record something today because that, um, that internal mic on my new laptop or whatever is really pissing me off. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten like the cheapest one at the store. <laughs> anyway, so I'm ordering a mic or whatever online. Um, it'll be coming in whenever it gets approved or whatever. It's taking forever because my account's not verified on PayPal. Anyway... <clears throat> Um, today I'm just going to be showing everyone, you know, some basics to making electronic components or whatever, yaddy yaddy, just doing stuff. And, um, yeah, feeling a bit lazy, so I'm just going to show everyone how to, um, pretty much just solder crap and whatnot. So, um, first of all, I'm going to need some solder, right? I'm pretty sure you can solder crap without a soldering iron, right? Take like a, I don't know, like a pen or something. Uh, like a, um, uh, a screwdriver, right? Take a screwdriver, and I, I haven't tried this honestly, but just take a screwdriver, like a pointy screwdriver, um, a Phillips head, and um, put it in some like boiling water or something, or um, heat it up on the stove. <laughs> Right, uh, yeah, but it's not really worth it because uh, you can get a cheap ass soldering iron. This one here is 15 bucks, it's cheap as hell. It doesn't even have an on and off switch, it just has um, a little switch there for the, for the power, right? For the wattage. So, here I got a 15 30 watt one. Um, it's a bit hot for this solder, so um, <clears throat> whatever. So, I'm just gonna plug that in let it heat up and it you're probably most definitely going to want a better stand look at this i moved the cord and the thing wiggles and moves and looks like it's going to fall off the only thing that keeps it on there is that screw so yeah you're definitely going to want to get yourselves um, a better stand than whatever it comes with and i'm too lazy to go and find out wherever they sell them Maybe you could just make your own little stand, get some uh, steel um, wire or whatever. <coughs> right, I'm pretty sure you can make your own stand. So anyway, um, yeah, most of them are pretty not very safe, right? There's no light indicating that it's on. All you can do is like put your hand near. It'll heat up um, fairly fast and whatnot. I'm just going to move this a bit forward, so whatever. So I'm just going to be going over some of the tools you'll be needing. Well, that's pretty much it. You don't need any fancy um, wire cutters or whatever, wire strippers, right? I'm pretty sure everyone recognizes these, right? <clears throat> it's pretty bulky, right? You can use your teeth, right? And, um, you know... So look for some of these. I'm pretty sure some of you guys might have one of these at home. Do, do, do. You know, for doing beading and stuff or whatever. Probably, right? Ah, you can use those to cut. Or if you're really crazy, you can get some actual cutters. Ah. Ah. Of course, it's all overrated. All you really need is a decent pocket knife. Right? Wow. Here I have a, I don't know, $30 pocket knife here it's a leatherman's and look at this it has scissors Wah! yeah what do you want to bet it's going to cut it or not this oh see you don't, you just need like shitty little scissors Ooh. i know this is rather good um you might want a better than shitty pocket knife here i've got a nice crappy pocket knife with the really bad scissors. Uh, probably still works a bit. Nah, totally fails. <laughs> um, next thing you're wanting, uh, other than cutting tools and big ass knives, right? Ooh, ah, damn it, I still got syrup in this. <laughs> yeah, big ass knives and shit. Um, you're going to want to get yourselves like some sort of bolt tester or you can even just make yourself uh, 
something like this. All you need to do is get yourself like um, a low volt or amp or whatever, just <clears throat> a low power LED and it will pretty much do everything that you need for this. This does have its benefits though and it's like, I don't know, I forgot how much this was, whatever. Anyway, it's um, a multimeter, whatever, voltmeter, whatever you want to call it. They're fairly cheap. You don't have to get the big ass ones like they have in schools and shit. And oh, good thing, it doesn't require batteries. Uh, not there yet. Totally not there. <clears throat> so, um, let's get some LEDs here. And a nice LED LED, LED, whatever you want to call them. Um, there's something you should be aware. Not all LEDs will run off of a nice little AAA or even AA battery, right? They're, these are too weak for most of them or at least the ones that you'll buy in a store. So, <clears throat> what I've got here is something. I just took this out of like a flashlight, an LED flashlight, honestly. I don't know if I want to ruin it, it's pretty nice. But, um, hope you guys, uh, you know, did science in high school. We go over the whole voltage thing. This adds up to about 4.5 volts, right? Each one of these little ones are 1.5 so wow you got your nice little voltmeter and make sure your batteries are working and stuff brand new otherwise you're going to be having some problems wow do have to zoom in for that can you guys see that okay well whatever you guys get the general idea put it as <coughs> put it on 9 volts battery mode wow No. Dude, we'll do it like corn cobs. Yeah, look at that. You can see the meter moving. Woo! Yeah. That'll help you a lot. And uh, most of this electronic junk is just really reading, right? Um, Five volts go with five volts, right, and whatever. And then you can get into resistors, and then you don't have to be as precise. Then you can, you know, lower the voltage or amps or whatever, right? <clears throat> so, um, you don't always have to follow the requirements. Like, here, this is a 12, um, yeah, 12 volts DC, right? I think batteries are, like, AC or something as well. No, anyway, this is a um, 12 volt fan, right? No, computer fan, right? Dude. So, let's go negative and positive. Ooh, the fan works. I know it's the magic of like batteries and power and electricity. Uh, wire stuck. All right, I'm pretty sure it's hot enough now. Whoops. <laughs> uh, it's hard doing this. Oh, come on. Oh, there we are. Yes. Okay, it is totally hot enough. Now, first of all, this is like solder crap. It's so magical. You see the steam and the smoke. This is why it tells you not to inhale. I'm gonna die because I don't have the window open and get lead poisoning by the end of it. It's... Wow, this doesn't actually work. I wish it would because it's been so cool. Would have been cool, right? Having a bunch of shiny crap on your desk or your wooden desk. See, it just leaves still um, clear crap. It's pretty interesting, right? It loves to stick to metal. I don't know if you can see that, but it sticks so well. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to start off by, okay, I hope that doesn't fall, it suck if that fell. I'm going to start off by getting some wire here, i got some rainbow wires or whatever. You can use whatever wires you want, just black and white. Ah. Do -do -do -do. Snip them, it's probably a bit too long. 
eh, whatever. Just gonna make like a nice little LED thing. You know, you can use a red LED and you get one of those, um, what do you call them? Not night vision things. Well, sort of night vision, but, um, star map readers or whatever. I don't know if you guys made them as a kid, but I made them as a kid. Take like um, a pill container, poke a hole in it, drill a hole, and then put an LED in it, and put a battery and a switch on it. But I don't. Oh, I do have a pill container. I got drugs. Woot. And then uh, here are some wire strippers. Now they're not too difficult to use. You can use them however you want. I'm going to use the 18 here. Whoops! Come back here. Whoop. Yeah. Right, you can use them from any direction, uh, any hand, left or right. It doesn't always work the same though, because they design them to be specific for different hands and shit. Oops. I'm not very good at that with them. I normally I use like my teeth and shit. Blah. Uh, doesn't help that I'm like left-handed and shit. Oh no, there we are. Oh, failness. Just like bite it. <laughs> yeah. I know, these are like really old wire strippers. They're, like older than me. Anyway, get your nice little wires and then let's get a nice LED. Now we gotta solder some crap. Uh, great. I totally forgot which side was positive and negative, so whatever. I'm just gonna, you know, wrap it on whatever side I feel like. I'm just gonna get. Yeah, bend it a little bit away. We get some soldering action. I don't know. Should I zoom in so you guys can see and shit? Squaw. Oh, I'm running out of time. So just like. Wrap it up quick. It's hard to do with the camera how it is. Wow. So you just put it on there and right, it drips onto the metal. Wow. Ooh no, sticks. Totally sticks. Ah. Okay. Just like solder the piece of solder or whatever onto it. Right? And um it cools down pretty fast, right? You can touch it almost right after. Wow. Right? And I'll do the same thing to the other side. Ooh, man. 12 minutes. Almost 13. Ugh, this camera position sucks. I know. You don't actually have to solder it on. You just wrap it. But it's like LEDs make it more permanent. Uh, okay, which one's negative and which one's positive? I probably mixed them up. So, here we are. Do, do, do. There we are, the light's on. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. Now I'm gonna add a switch just for the hell of it, and I don't know if I have enough time to do this, so I'm probably not gonna solder it. Oh, red goes on red, sure. Oh, I don't know, it's just so weird. Just like licked it as if it were Fred. That's right, this is where your mad sewing skills come in handy. Gah. Come on. There we are. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, I'll just wrap it. Get another wire quickly cause, okay I don't have enough time to finish this I guess I'm gonna like post a image of it or whatever anyway um, this is pretty much just like hot noob here and yeah come check out my blog at hotnoob.com and if you have any questions about soldering and stuff um, yeah just try not to inhale it and pretty much good I guess you can post a comment on my blog don't know if I feel like answering any comments or whatever. Uh, but anyway, um, this is Hot Noob, and come check out my blog at hotnoob.com. Tell your friends about it, and yeah, whatever. Tell your mom about it if you really want. <laughs> See you guys later.